This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about a handful of techniques for creating 3D promo videos inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is a really fun tutorial because it is focused on creating very unique 3D text inside of After Effects with no plugins. So we can e easily design the style of the front side of our text and work with lighting and get our titles to where we need it to be. But also we're gonna talk about motion graphic techniques that can be applied to these more graphic design based after Effects project, but before we jump into our tutorial today, I need to say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. All right, here we are inside of After Effects and it's gonna be fun. And in our tutorial composition, the only thing we have here is our main title along with our subtitles and just a background, very easy to do to set that up. But once you have your title and you wanna make it into 3D, we're gonna talk about doing that right now. What we're gonna to wanna to do is take our title, go to Edit, Duplicate, and we'll have a duplicate here. And we'll come here to the bottom layer, we'll open this up and we'll make it a 3D layer. Then we'll have to click on Change Renderer and we can set this to uh, Cinema 4D because it runs really smooth inside of After Effects and just click OK. All right, then we can open up the geometry options here and we can go to the extrusion depth and like set this up to like 90 points or so. And you'll see that it is 3D. So we go up to like layer new camera and click OK. And then we can grab the camera tool here at the top and we can just orbit around this to see it in 3D spacing. You see that it is in 3D space, but it's all meshed together. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So I'm just going to undo that. Then I'm also going to make our duplicated title, obviously a 3D layer, and that will be all connected. So, you know, we're going to help shade this a little bit and make it look good. So we'll go up to layer new light and point lights. OK, click OK. And you can keep it right there if you want. You can just hit here and keyboard for position and we can like move this forward and backward in Z space. See what we got. You know, if you bring it forward, uh, we can maybe bring it over to the X position by a little bit. See what's happening. You know, bring it back in Z space a little bit so we can get like this backlighting here. And then we can create another light. We'll definitely bring this forward and bring it to the other side or so. So it's just about positioning this and kind of getting us a little bit of a nice shading going on here. So I want to come here to our top title, which is just a single layer. It's not extruded, but I want to be able to texture this so this can stand out in the front end. So what we're going to do here is we can go to uh, Effect Generate Fill. And with this fill applied, you're not going to see it because it's a 3D layer inside this composition. And this is the thing I want to be able to obviously texture the front end. So in order to do this correctly, I need to take this top layer and go to Layer Precompose. We call this Front front texture and, and click OK. And then of course make it a 3D layer and then we'll go into this composition and let's turn off the 3D layer icon and go back into our main composition and let's hit here on keyboard for position and we can bring the Z position to negative to negative 0.1 and it'll be right in front of everything. So awesome. So we're going to be able to control the front color of our title and keep that darker color of the background of the title. So that's really cool. We're going to be able to easily control that. So you can obviously just come here and change the background color of your 3D title to anything that you want. So you can make it blue if you want, but that's completely up to you. I'm going to keep it where it's at, but I'm going to go back into our front texture composition and I want to be able to stylize this. So one thing I can do here is take our fill color and maybe I'll go with an orange type color. That's fine. Then I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm just gonna create like a nice kind of random shade like this. So it's gonna create a mask like that and close this up. And then I'm gonna hit E on keyboard for the effects, open the fill, go to compositing options, hit this plus icon and it'll be set to mask one. Fantastic. Then I'm gonna hit M on our keyboard to bring up mask one and I'm gonna duplicate the mask one and I'm gonna come here and uh, set the mask two to subtract. Then I'm going to duplicate our fill and I'm going to change this to another color. So maybe I'll do something a little bit darker. And then I'll hit E to bring up the fill too. Go into the compositing options and set this to mask too. So now we have you know this cutout here. 
And then I'm going to do the bottom side here of our pen tool. So I'll come over here, pivot to this side, and then I'll duplicate our fill again. And this time maybe I'll do like a, a really nice bright color. Good. Go into the fill three, go into our compositing options and set this to mass three. So now we kind of have a split between three different colors here and we go back into our main composition. This will automatically up. And now this is completely updated and we have this nice front texture inside our main composition, which is really, really cool. So we're able to create this customized 3D title within After Effects and that is awesome. So obviously now we probably wanna talk about animating all this and making it look good. So one thing we can do here is obviously we have our camera already set up and we can animate the overall scene. So we can open up our camera one, go to transform, add a keyframe for position. I also like adding a keyframe for point of interest depending on what tool you like to use. But we'll come here to say six seconds, that'll be the end of our composition. And we'll grab the orbit camera tool and we can like have this rotate over. And now we'll kind of have like this nice 3d animation around our title and you can use other camera tools if you want like we can track inward um, if we want to do that you can of course move the x and y position but I'm just gonna use the orbit one a very subtle animation so we can come here into say our promo title and our main comp go to animate and set this to maybe position and then click animate again and click on enable per character 3d and from here we'll come to the beginning of our timeline and we can bring the Z uh, X position all the way forward right you know right past the camera and just really bring that forward and then we go come here to add and we go to property and add say like a rotation and we can just rotate these randomly by a little bit down here and then we'll go into the range selector we'll add a keyframe for start we'll move forward maybe by a second and set it up to 100 percent and we'll make the last keyframe an easy easy keyframe by hitting f9 on our keyboard so now the bevel part of our title will fly in and that's cool and unfortunately, you really can't animate the you know the texture part of this title because of how it's layered out. Um, so we're, what I'm just going to do is hit T my keyboard for opacity and add a keyframe for that. Move it forward just by a little bit and set the opacity down zero percent. So this will just you know fade on, and I'll hit F9 on my keyboard to make these easy ease keyframes. So right when these are flown on, I will fade these up, and it'll kind of just appear on. So that's fine, totally cool. All right, cool. So we now we have our animation here, and I want to be able to create these, you know, revolving lines that you saw in our intro, and it's really easy to do so. Just to add a little detail to our promo video, so we'll come here to main composition, and I'm just going to hide our main title so we can, you know, obviously save any speed. So we come here and grab the pen tool, make sure no layer selected, and we'll add a point right here or anywhere in the composition. It doesn't matter. Hold down Shift on your keyboard. That's important, and click another point. So we'll have a straight line like this. Then we'll come here to the top, click on the word fill, set it to none. Click OK, click on the word stroke, set it to solid color, and click OK. And we'll come here and change our color to whatever color we want. I'll do like a purplish. I'll click OK. And we'll increase the stroke to maybe like 30 or 40. Uh, I think that's fine. 40 is good. And we'll come here into our shape layer one. We'll come here to add, and we'll add a trim paths. And we'll open up trim paths. We'll add a keyframe for start. And we'll move this keyframe forward in time, maybe like 12 frames, add a, set this up to 100%. This will animate on, and we'll come here, add a keyframe for end, and we'll set the end to 0%. So now we have this line that animates on like this, and that's totally cool. And then when this is all animated, let's go ahead and just bring in the out point here so we know how long this is gonna be. And then simply, we can grab our shape layer, duplicate it, move it around. We can change the color, but I'll keep it there for right now. Just duplicate it a few more times, move it around your composition randomly. And then, you know, then we'll start changing some colors. Come to the top, you select a secondary color. That's cool. Duplicate it. And then when you have a bunch of copies in here, I'm just going to offset these in time randomly. And then we can take everything, duplicate them again, bring them up, you know, offset them. This time maybe we can go to layer, transform, and flip horizontal. This way it'll animate in the opposite direction. So that's pretty cool. So it's really up to you how you want these to be animated and whatnot. And then when we have enough spread here, I'm gonna go ahead and just select all of our layers and pre-compose them. And we can call this uh, BG shape animate. And that's good. And then we can turn everything back on and bring this layer underneath our titles. And of course, let's go ahead and turn on motion blur for all of our layers and make sure to turn on the top. 
One tool that I like using is called Toko, which has like almost 1500 motion graphic elements, ranging from title animations to backgrounds to even logo reveals, and it's right here in its own extension inside of After Effects, which is amazing and allows you to easily preview what you want to apply to your composition before you apply it. And within this pack, there are some amazing shape line animations, which I call accent motion graphics. And you can see we can preview these animations. And even in the backgrounds category, uh, there are these awesome accent graphics that I can click quickly apply to our project. And this has automatically been applied to our project file, which obviously this took us maybe a few minutes to create, but this by itself, you just apply within a few seconds. So if you want to check out Toko and along with all the amazing other accent motion graphics that you can quickly apply to your After Effects projects, I will drop that link in the description so you can take a look at all nearly 1500 elements. All right, so things are looking good, but I want to add a few more elements in here. So first we'll go up to layer, new adjustment layer. And let's go to effect, noise and grain. And we're going to add noise. And we can set this up to like 6%. So let's go to layer, new solid. And we'll call this noise. And we'll go up to effect, noise and grain. And we'll grab fractal noise. We'll set this to max. We'll set the contrast up to like 200 and bring down the brightness to about negative 100. Go to the noise type and set this to block. Go to transform, uncheck uniform scaling and set the scale width up to like a thousand. And then we can actually bring down the brightness by a little bit. Okay, awesome. Go into the evolution options. Let's all click the stopwatch for random seam. And down here, you'll be able to type in an expression. We'll type in time, asterisk six. And this will animate you know every few frames. So that's great. Then we'll go ahead and grab this layer pre-compose it and we'll call it map awesome we'll turn this layer off we'll go up to layer new adjustment layer and then we'll go up to effect distort and we're gonna grab displacement map set our displacement map layer to that map layer of course and check on wrap pixels around and this will allow us to glitch out our video so when it's all said and done you should have something very similar to this and we did a little bit of motion tile to this if you want to learn how to use the motion tile effect i highly suggest taking a look at one of our tutorials that we've made about the motion tile effect there's a lot of great uses for it but so those are a handful of our techniques if you want to learn more about creating promo videos and doing motion graphics inside of after effects be sure to check out any of these videos i have on the screen right now which are going to be amazing help for you in your after effects endeavor so hope you enjoyed this video if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating.